Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I want to give a shout out to Notification Gang, Key Talk Gang, even though they're really the same thing for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and like the video and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyways. So the big, big cap of the whole, you know, big scar funeral and Gucci Mane situation, money situation, not sending money, do sending money situation has finally been revealed. So, of course, at first, Big Scar's family came out and said, man, Gucci ain't help us out with nothing. As a matter of fact, whenever, uh, you know, the people try to call his phone and get some money on to my for the funeral, he blocked them. So he ain't do nothing for us at all. And then it came out that Gucci Mane and his wife pretty much posted receipts that they sent 10 K. And then somebody else actually sent another 10K. Not sure if that other 10K specifically came directly from Gucci or not. Uh, But of course, it was a total of 20K that was actually sent. Now you know. Big Scar Sisters now coming out and saying, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know what? Yeah, yeah, Gucci did send the 10K. I admit he sent the 10K. But the funeral itself was $60,000. What's 10K to $60,000? That's why I came out and said Gucci ain't help us out with nothing. And it's still Gucci. And he still ain't help us out with nothing. Because what's a little old bitty 10K? Yeah, another 10K was sent from a random place. Yeah, so 20K. But still, the funeral was $60,000. My brother worth way more than the little 10K that he sent. This, this 10K ain't deep about. Bitch, your rivers and flowers, boo. This ain't here with nothing but bitch, your rivers and flowers, boo. 10K ain't My brother was way more worth. Baby, my brother worth more than 10K. You scared. Yeah, Gucci son 10,000 and it was a, uh, somebody else on another 10. So it was 20,000 and all. And we didn't get the flowers. I don't give a what nobody say. He need to get in the field about my brother. Like the money don't even matter. You, you asking for the change, baby. But anyway. The- Anyways, I don't know, gang. Capity, capity, capity. I think the cap alert's kind of going off a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? Well, Big Scar Sisters is now saying that, hey, man, it ain't even about the money. You know what I'm talking about? It's the fact that you're asking for the chains back. Now, that would make sense because asking for the chain back does sound kind of wild because, you know, he's passed away. So that's why I said that's a great error. So that's kind of wild. Now, if the chains is really owned still by Gucci and he was, for instance, loaning or renting the chains to Big Scar while he was alive, a Gucci is going to be able to file some type of paperwork uh, legally to get the chains back or he's probably got some type of insurance on the chains like where he'll be able to just get new chains of course he's going to be signing more artists so he will need new chains uh, but I mean yeah giving giving a deceased artist chains to a new artist uh, that you signed is pretty wild if that was the case but also the fact that you know if, if the money wasn't an issue uh, then at the very beginning it wouldn't have been said that you know Gucci didn't help them out at all uh, because that's the you know that's the narrative that they kind of gave gave uh, at the very beginning i kind of get that's the narrative that they gave at the beginning everybody was under the you know the the narrative that yeah gucci not only did he not help him out at all whenever he passed away not no 10k not no 20k nothing that at all but also blocked the people that tried to ask them for some help so that was kind of what was being painted at first until the receipts were shown and now she is coming out saying you know bitch car is coming out saying yeah he did help us out but that wasn't enough money but also still about the chains and of course she did post that picture saying if you want the chains back get the chains back and blow but anyways. I know we're gonna get paid for regardless. That little ass money, that's why we say he ain't help us. We talk about that BMW posting receipts, none of this shit. Yeah, he sent 10,000. That 10K, like I said, Gucci ain't help with shit. Like I said, Gucci ain't help with shit. 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 Tell me, I don't give a fuck about no receipts with no funk ass. 10,000 now. They don't, they want to know. My brother, friend was 60K in all, 10K. It's still f***ing him. It's still f***ing him. It's still f***ing him. What's, what's 10 to 60? What's 10 to 60? What is 10K to 60? You already know. Okay, so she said, what is 10K to 60K? Because that's what the total of the Of course, you had the 10K, that means 50K would have had it been covered. But of course, she did say another 10K. I don't know if it was directly from Gucci or the label, whichever way it came. Uh, it, it came. So that you put that as 20K and 20K from 60K. That's going to be a third of the actual, which is, you know, that's a nice portion of the actual. However, you know, if she had came out and said, you know, just about the change rather than a 
originally saying that you know uh you know gucci didn't try to help them out at all uh the very fact that they came out and first said that gucci didn't try to help them out at all that makes her look disingenuous so now that that kind of like get makes the makes the people look at her like i don't know she coming off as disingenuous and ungrateful and not thankful even though yes i'm sure big scar made the label a whole lot more money that's just how the business goes though the artist is always going to make their boss way more money than they actually get to receive uh and then of course whenever artists die it's not always you know sometimes you get covered sometimes they don't always get covered uh but it does look like they made an attempt to cover something uh and of course you know if she would have just came out and said yeah he asked for the change back and didn't mention the covering of the cost of the money at all then it would have been like okay yeah gucci on some real you know something I that ain't solid asking for the dead man's chains back plus the other chains then it would have had him just looking in that bad light but the very fact that they double back you know uh that gucci double back with his wife and showed the receipts and then shorty is now saying okay yeah he gave us 10k but but it was 60k and, and that, that wasn't enough uh it, i don't know it, it comes off as disingenuous anyways she did go on to say that you know Big Scar did have life insurance as well, and she's not sure if Gucci had life insurance on him, but he he probably did. Uh, but they also had life insurance on him as well. Something that he ain't had life insurance. Bitch. He did have life insurance. Bitch. We made sure he was good. Go back in. Yeah, he had life insurance. Gucci probably had some on him too, but y'all got him fucked up. Now you know. At the end of the day, it's gonna be up to y'all to decide. Do y'all feel like Gucci Mane should have, you know, talking about cover the entire 60k for the war? And then, of course, you know, as far as the chains go, should he be asking for those chains back, or do y'all feel like, you know, it, or it could be a combination, or do y'all feel like, hey man, I ain't gonna lie, Big Scar family is being disingenuous and ungrateful, uh, or do they have a right to feel the way they feel? Let me know some coming down below. Let me know what you think about this entire ordeal. I'm out.